Hello world, this is Brian, aka Invisible Doogie, and I am back with another tutorial on how to do a slam attack in Project Spark. So, to illustrate this, let's show you the finished product first. So, I'm going to test. Got my character around here, got a goblin following him, and I jump in the air, and I hit right trigger, and slam down. So, jump in the air again, hit right trigger, slam down, kill the goblin. So, I'm going to show you how to do this where... Uh, you have to be a certain distance above the ground in order to have your slam attack activated. And once you have it activated, you can hit right trigger and slam down on the ground, uh, damaging all enemies around you within about a 2.5 meter radius. Alright, so let's see how we did that. So we're going to uh, just turn this guy's brain off. Bring him over here. And I have a uh, blank brain right here. So we're going to be using this guy. So let's summon his brain. Uh, let's start out by just adding in a third person adventure brain into him. This is kind of default brain. Um, I'm just going to remove his X and Y attacks uh, just because to make it a bit easier. So we're just kind of focusing on that one attack. I'm going to add a page here. We're going to call this page uh, Slam. And all their Slam codes are going to be on this page. So we are going to... Um, do a call page here. So we're going to do call page uh, slam and that calls this page. So now on this page we're going to do a few things. First we are going to set the gravity factor of the character is going to be equal to 1. And then so here's kind of the here's all the finish line of code. Um, what you want to do is you want to kind of increase the gravity factor to make it fall down faster. And then you're basically looking for when um, this character is in the air or flying, then when the right trigger is pressed, then it looks for a few things, then it activates this Boolean slam. And when slam is activated, um, you increase the gravity factor to 10, you fall, so you fall 10 times faster basically, and uh, once you hit have a ray cast hit downwards, then you have your slam attack happen, you damage everything, gravity factor goes back to one, slam equals false. So pretty, pretty easy enough stuff. So let's start out by, I did once, gravity factor equals one. So um, let's start out by putting within here when, uh, we're gonna say when we are flying or in the air, so when either of those things are happening, then when right trigger is pressed, so when right trigger is pressed, we are going to actually first look for if he's high enough in the world. So we're going to do a ray cast hit in order to do that. So we're going to do a uh, ray cast hit direction. down and we're going to say a length of he's got to be higher than three meters off the ground so rake has it direction world down length three so if if he is uh, less than three meters from the ground basically if he does have a rake has hit that hits something um, three meters below him then nothing happens if I don't have a rake has hit then we're going to do an else here this else is also going to look at when I have a ray cast hit. We're going to copy this stuff. Uh, direction, world down, length of 10 meters. So if I'm higher than 10 meters, I can't do my slam attack because that's too high. Then, if all of that is true, then I have this boolean called slam, and that is equal to true. So when slam is activated, we're going to have something, a few things happen as soon as it's activated or under started to. First thing we're going to do is the gravity factor. We are going to increase that all the way to 10. And let's just reference this to see what comes next. Um, 
Then we are going to fall. I'm just going to copy this. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and have our character fall to the ground. And then want to copy this all over so I didn't have to record out. But basically, um, what it's looking for is one slam is activated, so my gravity factor is much higher. I'm falling, so I'm already falling really fast towards the ground. As soon as I do a ray cast hit, I found this is the most precise way to do it. Ray cast hit in the direction world down from my character's root position with a length of 1.25 meters. I found basically... If your character is kind of at the default scale, that exact length gets just to the bottom of their feet, just a tiny bit below. So it uh, perfectly matches up with them hitting kind of any surface. This is the best way to have it uh, consistent so they hit kind of any surface. In case you're having trouble, maybe uh, the slam attack is happening before they hit the ground or uh, it's not happening at all, just mess around with this length uh, to get to a right point for your game. So when that happens, then we are going to uh, we're gonna first reset the gravity factor to be equal back to one. So there, therefore, I'm not ten times as heavy uh, after that. We are going to do a shockwave effect. We are going to also uh, play and effects. My favorite effects is uh, the, I believe it's dirt scoop. I think that's the right one. Let's see. What I'm here. Right, dirt plume. Uh, and I'm playing that at my bottom socket. I'm also doing overlapping. Uh, that way, if I do a bunch of slam attacks in a row, it's still going to always play that effects. Then a nice little thing to put in there is uh, just a little bit of controller vibration. Always nice to have, you know, tactile feedback, things like that. And we're going to say for each of... Uh, enemies, objects closer than, let's say, 2.5, so any, any objects that are closer than 2.5 meters away, then we are going to damage it by, let's say, 20 points. Let's see if there's anything else in this in here. I'm just missing a sound effect. So, you know, sound is very important also. Um, so playing around with sound effects, uh, my favorite sound effect was the Earth Magic Seismic Impact, and I also did overlapping for that in case I did uh, a lot of slams in a row. It would allow that to one to kind of play on top of the other. Um, and then you end it all with just setting slam to be equal to false. So you got all that up and running, uh, and I'm calling that on this page constantly, so it's always going to be running. And now, let's see, is this guy's brain inactive? Cool, his brain is inactive. All right, so let's go ahead and fire this up. So now I jump and slow oh. down, just like before. Wow. So there's a lot of variation you can do to this. Uh, I find it looks even better if you have a character who can jump higher. Um, because, you know, my character can't really jump too high, so he's kind of... It's not as impactful. So, like, you might want to play around with, let's say, his uh, jump height. You know, maybe increase that to, like, three. Or have him jump higher with a second double jump. It looks definitely more impactful. Slams down from a higher amount. 
So uh, yeah, hopefully that gives you the basic idea of how to do a cool slam attack. Uh, cool slam attack inside of Project Spark. Thanks for watching.